was looking over some of the uh, some of the pages that have been already changed. And my concern is that uh, some of the strategies that are supposed to be used are used as if they were in uh, elementary school. For instance, trim trimesters. Trimesters are not necessarily successful in high school. Um, the other thing is, unless you are doing a reading, reading parallels, um, that is more elementary. Don't want me to read parallels. Uh, it's, it's just not something you would do in high school. You may do peer groups, you may do buddy groups, that's fine. But a lot of the suggestions for strategies, um, and then uh, would not necessarily apply here. Then it talks about technology will be available for all students. We have a problem with that because right now, our computer labs are not always functioning. And I recently know that there was a short, small computer lab just taken apart because it was in need of someplace else. But if we're going to have technology throughout the campus, then we need to have technology throughout the campus. This says it will ensure technology is throughout the campus right now. That's the truth. So if you're going to say something, at least make the attempt that it is in. Because it's not throughout the campus. Not everybody is able to use computer labs. Not everybody is supposed to have computers as computer labs. Computers to use for their classes. That's really important here in technology class. Okay, so I, I and then if you have a technology class, you need to ask some more classes. There's no way you should have 30 or 40 plus kids in a computer lab. No one teacher can see all of that at the same time. So I, I feel going back to small classes, making sure all students have the same technology, the same books, everything. Yes, this would make this school very successful. But if you're going to put it in a contract, you better be able to back it up. Right now, I don't need to. Good evening. Well, it's not any cooler in here than it was any other time we've uh, been here these past few years. We need air conditioning. But uh, what I wanted to start with is that um, several, you know, several meetings now. Um, the people in this room have expressed their discomfort with the process of putting through this uh, renewal charter. And I think that's because it's just so different than the inclusive process that we held with the original charter. And the time we took and the care we took to include the, uh, the stakeholders, meetings week after week, month after month, and submittals uh, put out to the public is really different. I've held public hearings at this school before, and I know how you notify the public. And a meeting that you don't notify by the public of is not a public hearing. One of the meetings was buried on the website on a Friday morning, and there's a public hearing on a Saturday morning at 8 o'clock. That's not a public hearing. So that doesn't sound inclusive. If we're in a bind because the charters were not submitted in time, what does that say about our administration? If they're writing other charters that seem to take precedence over our own charter. Two charters, it sounds like. The, the original charter was an excellent document that moved the school from good to great. And we all think that. It moved our school from good to great. It was a great document. It continues to be a great document. Many people in this room served on the committees that helped make that happen. And they don't want to change. It doesn't sound like anyone wants to change except the board members. Does that make sense to anybody? Nobody wants to change. Everyone wants the committees. They want to have a voice to the board and not just have the voice of the board or the executive director like this charter um, expresses. So, what this, every time I've been here, everything I've heard is people want those committees to stay. It is important to them 
to have the union be a requirement for a teacher rep. We have two teacher reps here. Everybody in the school of our reps are, uh, are in the union. Why would you change that unless there's a hidden agenda? That's what everybody feels like, that there are hidden agendas here. If you have no reason for doing what you're doing, why would you not leave class size as a goal? It's just a goal. It's a goal that we thought was a was worth having a charter for. It was a goal that these teachers thought was worth signing a charter for. We have the money. If you look at our budget, we have the money right now to be